Evolution Issue 2 is just about to come out, and the body horror epic is cooking up something both exciting and insanely grotesque for all you readers. As you read along, you'll think two things. Holy shit, this is good, and holy shit, this is gross. To get a better idea as to what inspired this book, we decided to ask the writers to list their top five favorite body horror stories, in no particular order. So here are the top five from co-writer of Evolution, James Asmus. <laughs> First up is probably on most people's list, or not depending on how strong of a stomach you have, David Cronenberg's The Fly. The film was released in 1986 and depicts Seth Brundle, an eccentric scientist who believes he is on the verge of inventing teleportation. But when he steps inside to give her a test drive, he doesn't realize that a little fly has made it into the other pod. After a slow and steady transformation, he becomes more like a fly with every fleeting moment until blammo, full on man fly. There are some incredibly disgusting special effects at work here that even won Cronenberg his first Oscar. To be particular, the scene of Brundle losing his teeth still haunts James to this day. Sorry, bud. Next up is another quintessential horror flick, John Landis's An American Werewolf in London. While not traditional body horror, this deserves a spot on the list. For James, the lingering anxiety of something stirring around inside of you is immensely terrifying. When backpackers David and Jack venture through the moors of Yorkshire, they're attacked by what is later classified as an escaped lunatic. Jack was killed, but David survives the ordeal, only to find out later that this lunatic was indeed a werewolf. Not to mention this transformation scene that has special effects that are insanely ahead of its time, and holds up as one of the greatest in cinema history. And this next one's got some bite to it. <laughs> The film Teeth by Mitchell Lichtenstein follows Don, a high school student who grew up in the shadow of a nuclear power plant. I think I see where this is going. The setup is that of a typical high school coming of age story, but with a twist. Don discovers she has an adaptation in the form of vagina dentata. The film keeps a lid on the issues of women being preyed on by teenage and older men, the pubescent terror over strange body changes, and the boiling anxiety about sex. The subject matter here is also based on folklore used as a cautionary tale and to discourage rape. There are some really important issues being tackled by this film, and if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Oh, and now we're coming at you from left field. Following Teeth is the two-part episode of G.I. Joe, There's No Place Like Springfield. The 54th episode of the show's first season hammers home that fear of, who do I trust? This fear comes to a boiling point in the moment where shipwrecks buds melt into gray puddles that then morph into one giant monster puddle and take shipwreck away. One hell of a cliffhanger for a cartoon. These images haunted poor little James as he never even saw part two until the internet became a thing. Sorry, James. This can't be happening to me. Finally, to finish off the list is American Mary by the Soska Sisters. The film follows a struggling med student, Mary, who in an effort to pay her bills, enters the world of underground body modifications. The film has quite a few scenes that are, uh, pretty gnarly. One of them involving two sisters from Berlin, who are actually played by the Soskas, asking for their left arms to be swapped and horns to be implanted on their heads. Yowza. But what James loves about this one is its ability to reframe its characters, the viewer's thinking, and who we should find monstrous in a scenario like this. Do you think I'm crazy? And there you have it, James Asmus's top five body horror stories. If you're interested by any of James's picks, then go check them out. And also make sure to pick up Evolution at your local comic book shop or Comixology today. And we'll see you next time with more top body horror stories from the writers of Evolution. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let us know in the comments what your favorite body horror stories are. We'll see you next time. Put that down.